you know, I was sitting here this morning and I was journaling. I felt like really crappy about myself this morning. I am just so stressed and like riddled with anxiety. Sometimes we get in our feelings and that's okay. And I'm trying to like let that be known to myself and to you guys. You're allowed to be in your feelings. And also if you are a woman, we're hormonal. Like my emotions are like this. And that brings me back to the journaling because yesterday when I was eating, like I didn't eat terribly, but I didn't eat the best. And like, I am getting my period any day now. And I don't know about you, but I eat like a govone before I get my period. It's like, I'm starving. So I didn't eat terribly, but I ate a lot yesterday. And then this morning I woke up and I was journaling and I just felt kind of like terrible about it. There's like layers to this. But last night when I was sitting on the couch, I was editing my video and I took a little social media break. Social media is terrible. And that sounds very hypocritical because you are on social media watching this video. And I appreciate you being on social media to hang out with me and watch my videos, but it can be toxic. I follow I follow a lot of workout or like um, fit people. You guys know I work out in my basement. I do free workouts on YouTube along with Peloton, which unfortunately is not free, but you know, like Sydney Cummings, Gaining Annas, and then some other woman that I just recently started following. I think it's like her name's Mel or something. I will put all of the people that I follow down below. But you know, when you first start to follow someone, YouTube kind of just like pushes all their videos to you. She is fit. She is fabulous. She is just like, she eats healthy. She looks great. And it just made me feel terrible about myself. And then this morning I had to remind myself that one, we don't get paid to be fit. That is her job to just be fit, to eat healthy. And that is like how they make their money. So every day, not, I mean, not that we're spending every minute of every day on our professions, but you know, your profession takes up most of your time. Me, I work nine to five. Monday through Friday. That is the biggest chunk of my life. I, which is sad. I spend the largest chunk of my life working. It's not sad for people who love what they do. If I was a fitness influencer who loved fitness influencing, if I was a beauty influencer full time, I would do this probably, I would probably work this job more than I work the job that I currently have. If Mel or whoever fitness influencer loves what she does on a day-to-day -day basis, she spends more time doing it. Also, People like the Kardashians, they get paid, they make all their money to look the way that they look. And so I am never going to be this crazy like fitness like person that has all the time in the world to work out, to meal prep. It's just, there's so much more to life. And I feel like social media really highlights things. It like highlights, bolds and underlines things sometimes. So like even beauty influencers, you know, that's their full-time job. They spend hours and hours and hours a day make, creating content. Like I watch vloggers here on YouTube and I love vlogging. Obviously I'm vlogging right now. I don't vlog every day because I have a full-time job and people who are just like killing it, it's because they have the time. They have that time that I spend on a nine to five work week. They spend that time on their social media, on their vlogging, on their shorts, their TikToks, all that kind of stuff. And I am really putting a lot of pressure on myself this year to spend more time in my social media, but I need to remind myself and give myself the grace that I have responsibilities in life other than this. That's not to say that influencers don't have responsibilities. Their responsibilities are to create content. My responsibilities are to work my full-time job and then I create content as a passion, as a hobby. So if you are someone that is trying to fulfill a dream, whatever that dream may be, you need to allow yourself the grace to do as best as you can and not compare yourself to other people. I go down this rabbit hole a lot. I honestly do best when I don't spend my time on social media. So maybe I should take a social media detox. Maybe we should all take a break, like a few days off of social media. I really don't go on Instagram that much anymore because I find that Instagram makes me depressed. I go on and I go in like my for you page and like the way that I've curated my Instagram and things that I like and people that I follow. It's a lot of like inspirational quotes, like feel good things. I detoxed my Instagram towards the end of last Last year unfollowed all the Kardashians I unfollowed any like influencers that just make me feel like shit about myself that is no shade to them it's just for my mental health I need to do that and so I just wanted to pop on here to remind you that you are doing your best you can only take it one day at a time don't be too hard on yourself because I do find that being too hard on yourself hinders you from moving forward so if you have goals write down like 
two, three little things that you can do today. Get them done as soon as you can. This way they're off your plate and you just feel accomplished. So like I've been putting notes in my phone of things that I wanna accomplish every day and I have journaling, I have working out and I have reading. And those are three things that I've been doing every single day. So honestly, in the first half an hour of me being awake, I knock out journaling and I knock out reading. So that's two things off of my to-do list that I knock out and I just find that like that momentum in the beginning of the day kind of like snowballs into me doing more things, confusing. Like don't put too much pressure on yourself, but get things done. If you're doing the best that you can do, don't compare yourself to others. And if you are a woman with a menstrual cycle, it's just natural that a lot of days you fluctuate. Some days are better than others. Even if you don't have a menstrual cycle, we all have feelings, we're humans, we have emotions. We have good days, we have bad days. And with that being said, I'm going to go work out, get my body moving because that is something that makes me happy. I've been filling my days with happiness. I don't want to reiterate myself, but like honestly, reading, writing, working out um, have just been things that I'm enjoying, especially now that it's colder and I can't get a, a nice little walk outside because it's frigid. That and also I want to show you my tattoos because I took the second skin off of them yesterday. So now you can see them. And I honestly don't think that I even showed them to you in my California vlog. That California vlog was a little bit all over the place. Honestly, I was just trying to have a good time and I didn't even need to try because California is so amazing. I got this palm tree, which these are kind of hard to show. I went to Kiss Kiss in Venice, California. Alex Ocho, Ocha, I will put his info down below, did my tattoos. So here is my super cute, I mean, granted, it still needs to heal, palm tree. My dad's handwriting in 44, because you guys know 44 is my lucky number. 44 was my dad's football number when he played football in high school and I was born on April 4th. So that's just like a number that we share. So I got my dad's handwriting in 44, which is tattooed means so much to me. And then I got an evil eye right here. And I don't know if you could see, it needs to heal, but the iris is blue. And obviously, you know, I've had this. This one I got in Greece. This one I got in Miami, my formal ghost. This one I got in Greece, and then this one I also got in Miami. So I would say like the wrist tat, the wrist bracelet, as I like to call it, is shaping up nicely. I do need to fill some other gaps, but I wanna take the time to really think about things that mean a lot to me. I try to make all of my tattoos meaningful. This was the best tattooing experience I've ever had because you guys know I've had some terrible tattoo experiences, but honestly, I chalk it up to it was a memory. It was a moment and yeah, you know, TBD as to whether I get this star fixed because she is faded AF, but I'm happy with everything else except for my formal ghost, which I got for my, <laughs> my cat. Um, but anywho, let's get on with the day because I've accomplished a lot today, but I really wanted to get my workout in earlier. One, two, three, let's go. because I don't want to wash my hair, honestly. It's like, look how long my hair is. It's a pain in the ass to wash it. Washing my hair is just like a large commitment. We're gonna get snowed in and why not? It's not like I'm doing anything tonight so I can take the time to let it dry in a hair turban. And I know this is like disgusting and I've shared this on a shorts, but I don't think I shared it with you here. I get like flakes in my hair and it's not dandruff. It is oil buildup because I wash my hair, to be honest, once, maybe twice a week. Is that disgusting? It might be. But because of that, I get a lot of oil buildup. I'm sharing with you in case you get flakes. I'm gonna show you my flakes. That right there, do you see that? I don't know if you're able to see them on the camera, but it looks like I have dandruff, but it's like bigger dandruff. So my hairstylist told me that I need to wash my hair more often and I'm lazy. So what do you think I did or don't do? I don't listen. This is my trick. Tea tree oil. Note that tea tree oil burns, so don't use a lot. A pump of this. And I'm just gonna run it through my hair. And this is like an oil cleanser. I put a lot of oils in my hair. I love hair oiling. Honestly, I've noticed such a big difference with my hair. It's gotten so long. But before I even started hair oiling, I used to put tea tree oil in my hair. And I haven't done it in a really long time. Look at that flake. See that flake right there? 
That's disgusting. That's the laundry. I have so many loads of laundry to do. I think I did four already, and I didn't do laundry before I left for California, which would have been the smart thing. But again, I'm lazy. I should have used my bamboo brush before I put the oil in. I honestly just should have done this how I normally hair oil, just swapped out the rosemary and the jojoba, which is what I normally use on my scalp. If you don't know, I'll put my hair oiling video up top so you can check it out. Something that I learned today and I feel like sharing with you is that my mom loves Anderson Cooper. I was about to say Sam the Eagle and I mean that wholeheartedly as a thought of endearment. I love the Muppets. My Aunt Lisa loved the Muppets. Growing up, I watched all the Muppets, okay? Watched Muppets with my dad often. I love Sam the Eagle, and I really, I do like Anderson Cooper, but my mom, she loves him. She told me that he came out with a grief podcast, but I'm gonna listen to it this week. I put a timer on for five minutes. I'm using a rubber, kind of like torture contraption, but I just massage it in my hair, and I'm not pressing hard. Like I'm not trying to like break my hair or my scalp. The noise in here is annoying because you can hear the laundry running. Let's go somewhere else. I was trying to mix it up. What is that? Oh, I love Alexa. Anyone else? Mike hates Alexa. I love her. Alexa, I love you. Thanks for saying I love you. Oh my God, I didn't think she was gonna sing. That's so nice. It's like a hug. Your trusty AI, how witty. Alexa, that was great. Well, now I feel corny because you got me smiling from ear to ear. I love Alexa. See, how could you not love that? So I was talking to my mom. It's like so crazy how she described how I'm grieving. It sounded very poetic when she said it. And honestly, I got very emotional the second that she said it. She said that in 2022, she dealt with my dad being sick. And then she wondered when he was gonna pass. And then she realized that those were the last like holidays that my dad would be here with us. So that was 2022. And then 2023, she wondered when my dad would die. And now she said in the new year, and this was literally how I was feeling, 2024 is the year that my dad didn't make it to. Like this is the year, it's a year without my father instead of a year without a Santa Claus, which that's a great movie. I'm kind of sad I didn't watch it this holiday season. But so now my mom said so eloquently that this is the year that her husband is gone. And it's like, yeah, this is the year that my dad is gone. It feels like very somber. It's like a new phase of grief. And it's not like, it's terrible. All grief is terrible, but it feels like a closure. But it'll never be a closure. Does that make sense? Like I just need to come to peace with the fact that he's not really here. Whereas I feel like in 2023, it was like he passed and then like I was, I've, I've been sad about my dad every day since my dad passed. I can't even really like think of a day where I haven't cried at least once. Like Christmas, I, I mentioned it was like a realization. It was kind of like a solidification of like him not being here. Cause it was like, wow, I can't believe he's not here for Christmas. And I can't believe it's gonna be a year but I really feel like he's here with me. I, I look a mess and I know that, you know, you might be sad watching me be this sad and it is sad. I feel like, okay, at the same time, but I feel comfortable when people know what this feels like because it's very uncomfortable to have grief and be around others who, well, it's not always uncomfortable, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it's comforting to know that other people feel this way, even though I don't want other people to feel this way, but it's nice to know that other people live like a quiet life. Like, does that make sense? Like we all go through things and it's nice to hear from my mom that I feel the exact same way. And she said it so nicely and I'm trying to work on how I say things. So that was nice too. All right, I'm done. I just wanted to share that. I'm gonna go do some yoga because you know what? I think I could use some and my hip is really hurting. I really need to book my doctor's appointments. That's something that I need to do this week. I let a whole week go by and I didn't book a single one. You've been kicked off the couch. Look at this. We've been subjugated to the floor. There's this one. She cried. just kicked him off. She For cried until 20 he... minutes until I gave up that spot. Yep. And then this one who's been here literally all day, all day and will not move. And now here we are sitting on the floor. And then there's us. How's your wine Cheers. with our wine on the floor? Chin chin. What's going on down here? Oh, we're all intrigued. You're trying to murder me. What do you got over there? We're gonna 
Oh, it like matches perfectly with that. Look at that booty. I think you might have a golf friend. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have a golf friend for sure. He's gonna make sure that you don't get it in the hole. Right. The other one's coming too. I gotta do this well. We're all intrigued. She's on the road here. She's she wants green. to play with you. She's gonna be on the green. She's gonna be on the green, yeah. <gasps> a hole in one! Nice. All right, do it again, do it again. Well, maybe you should cut the camera there because that was probably the beginner's luck. Mm, let's see, I feel like you're gonna get it again. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I was watching someone on YouTube Shorts. She was talking about your menstrual cycle, which I feel like I kind of talk about a lot because it affects a large portion of my life. And again, I am about to get my period. There was some short that came up that day, that one day when I wake up and I just look terrible or like horrendous right before I get my makeup. I think that my makeup right before I get my period. I woke up today, <laughs> one, all right, let's have a real moment. As, I mean, all of our moments are real, but yesterday I ate like shit. I ate really good all day. And then the nighttime came and I just, I ate a lot of cheese. I ate a lot of pasta. And then yesterday I didn't film any content aside from a little bit of vlogging, but I wanted to do like makeup content, but I decided against that. I was like, I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna be makeup free in the face. I'm gonna clean the house. I'm gonna get everything tidy. I didn't tidy as much as I wanted to. I did a decent job, but not like the best job. And then in doing that yesterday, I basically decided that I was gonna wake up early, get myself together, <laughs> do all the things. And it is 12.15. I woke up at 9.15 this morning. I woke up in a mood about it, but then I'm gonna be honest as I always am. I hate when I say that because I feel like when someone says I'm gonna be honest, it's like, are you not normally honest? Which I am like a little too honest, honestly. My mom and I were actually talking about that yesterday. And it's like, if you know who someone is as a person, you don't take things so personally. It's just, I guess, common knowledge. But I woke up, I journaled about the fact that I felt terrible with myself, that I ate disgustingly and I woke up late. And I just, I feel better about it after journaling about it because I feel like I released the feelings and I uploaded a video, I journaled, I read, I made a list of things to do. I think I have a pretty good idea of how I can get some stuff done today while also kind of taking it easy. So I just need to be easier on myself, let it go. I put way too much pressure on myself and clearly that has been a theme in this video. As I am trying to get back into the swing of things, I like expect myself to get into the swing like that and that's not reality. So I need to remind myself that one foot in front of the other, things take time and so long as I'm doing a few things better than I've been doing the day before, then that's great. I've been moving my body when I hadn't moved in like two weeks. I've been drinking a lot more water when I was neglecting myself. I was a sad house plant that had no water, no sunlight, no joy. I don't know about you, but I find that when I put too much pressure on myself to eat right and move my body and just like get back into the health of it all, it kind of backfires on me because the pressure stresses me out and then I start stress eating. Anybody else, let me know. But today I haven't eaten because I ate so disgusting yesterday and not that I'm punishing myself because I do not believe in punishing yourself when dieting that you need it to be a lifestyle change, not a punishment. It needs to be enjoyable. I'm just like so full from being so stuffed yesterday, but also in my cycle, I find this, I eat like a gavone like the few days before I get my period and then like, the day before, the day of, and then like the three days into it, I like don't eat at all. So I think my body is also doing that shift where it's like we've stuffed ourselves and now it's coming. It's a happening. I just, I don't eat as much. So I also painted my nails, which Mike said that he loved the color. OPI rated PG. I will link it down below. It's a really pretty green color. And I wanted to do this for California, but then the emotions of it all with like Christmas and New Year's and my dad, you know, not being here for, any and all of the above. I just, I didn't paint my nails cause I didn't have the mental capacity to do so.
I'm like trying to book dinner reservations for my family and I. We're gonna go and have dinner for my dad's, you know, one year anniversary. I honestly can't believe that he's been gone a year. It's, I don't wanna talk about it though today. I'm gonna save that for another day. With the new year here, you've clearly, we've had this combo. I'm feeling a type of way and I'm working through it as best I can. I honestly think I'm doing a good job, but it's a lot of like closure that you're being forced to have closure upon. But you don't want closure from. Do you get what I'm saying? Being that it's my dad's one year since he passed, my mom's having a virtual mass for him. So I'm gonna watch that from the comfort of my own home because the last time my mom had a virtual mass for my dad, she said that we talked too much and she couldn't hear. So we've gotten kicked out of the virtual mass attendance with Donna. So we're gonna do that, Mike and I here at home, and then we're gonna go to dinner. Damn place that we wanna go, that my mom wants to go to, that gave us a gift card. We had my dad's repass there and they gave us a hundred dollar gift card, which was so nice of them. Um, they won't answer the phone. So I'm thinking like they're closed today or maybe they're closed for a private event. If you know me, <laughs> you know me, I just wanna put it in my planner. So it's solidified and I know that it's done. It's just, and it's also on my damn list and I really wanna tick it off. And honestly, it's ticking me off that I can't do that. You want some? I know we have Brie here. Yeah, there's more. I bought it for Christmas and then we didn't use it. Oh, good. Dangerous with a knife on. Alexa, let your light on, please. How polite. Your resolution is to be more polite to Alexa? Yeah. Wow, that's so nice. I'm gonna try and be more hospitable. More hospitable to the AI? No, in general. Oh, just hospitable in general? Well, yeah, I figure, like, I did some reflecting, and I feel like... Oh, we did some reflecting. Aside from you... Aside from me? Aside from you... Uh-huh. The people I like the most are the people I spend the least amount of time with. So I'm gonna try. Like, that's why I invited Amanda and Jimmy to the house instead of going to dinner. That's nice. I figure it's more, like, homey, cozy. That's one of my resolutions. Hmm. Another one is to be more polite to the machines. Wanna oh, buy this? This little guy. He's making muffins. Hurry up, hurry up. <gasps> what are you doing? He obviously just buried something. Oh my god. He's making the muffins. That was really cute. It looks really good, but it is really I'm good. Pretty full, so I'm good. Thank you. Hey, time out. Mm -hmm. Did you say that you never use dryer sheets when you dry your clothes? Mm -hmm. I've mean, never used dryer sheets. That keeps the static out of them. I thought it was just like to make them smell nicer. You thought it was what? To make them smell good? No, it yeah. keeps the static and it, it takes any hair, it de-statics them and then it takes the hair mm -hmm. and lands in stuff that's floating around and like makes it go into the trap. Oh, so I should use that? Are they bad for the environment? Coke Celsius? We endorse those on my channel. Okay. Yeah, we're hoping that they'll endorse so us soon. Some could you imagine? I would just take a free pack. Thank you so much. Can I help you with the huffing and the puffing? She like huffs and puffs at me while I'm eating and I don't give her food. You and the other one, she's gotten fresh in her old age. She was always so polite. I find myself just giving more and more the sassier she is. I just put these pants on. Guys, you need to see these pants. I look crazy. I feel crazy. You know, like right before you get your period and you feel like you're getting a cold. That's how I feel. And I just feel tired. I'm trying to push through it. So that's the vibe of today. So apologies, I might look a little crazy. My skin gets so red. I get like so red in the mouth region. Look how red my skin is and look how tired my eyeballs are. Um, I wanna show you these pants though, because holy shit, I love them. And they might be a little weird, but I've always liked weird clothing, but I think this is the reason why I'm trying to get rid of everything now that is old because oh, I don't, I always like pick such statement pieces. That was always my issue when I was younger, in my 20s. I would just buy things that were like pretty to me. Like I would see something and be like, ooh, ah. But in, like now in my 30s, let me see. Where can I put you so you can see the full effect? Look at these freaking pants. Now, I don't know if you can see what's really happening, but they're navy and they're corduroy and my fly is open. I kind of have a diaper butt, but like, I don't know. Kind of like them. I'm going out to dinner with Katie and Bailey again this week and I need to pick out an outfit. So we're gonna go through my Rent the Runway together. This was a piece I literally just received th this yesterday in the mail. So these are my first rents of 2024. 
I'm excited. I love Run Through Runway. Also, I washed my hair yesterday with you guys and I used the tea tree oil. And like, I still have a couple flakes, but like you had to see my flakes yesterday. They were like so terrible. It's not that bad. They're like pretty much gone. Honestly, trip, trip, trick of the century. Like I said in my original video, do it for a few weeks and like all of your flakes will be gone. But then you either need to continue the tea tree oil routine or you need to wash your hair more often. I want to see how much these pants are. Because with Rent the Runway, I think I've purchased three things so far. Oh, I'm buying these. They're $65. They have eight reviews though. And honestly, I'm glad I didn't listen. Too short, but then it got one comfortable and good looking. That's how I feel. They're comfortable and good looking. That's a great synopsis. One more time for the camera and I'll show you the other pieces as soon as I put some makeup on and I want to call my mom. But yeah. See the corduroy? They remind me of my mom. Honestly, I feel like I have my mom's style when she was my age. I feel like we have very similar taste in clothing. All right, I need to put some makeup on. Oh, don't I look so cool? I'm going to shop, right? With my little fanny pack across me. I don't feel cool. I just, I feel like I need to lower this. I feel like it looks like it's suffocating me. I just need to go shop, right? And get it over with. The bane of my existence, which is so dramatic, but like, I can't tell you how many times I switch between wallets. Like, it's insane between these two and then my work wallet, which I should take out because I'm going to work tomorrow. So I live between these three wallets. I live in this one the most because I go to work the most. <laughs> but it's so annoying because I have little bags like this. Honestly, I have a lot of little bags. Big ass wallet is just not it. I love it, but I don't think it was a wise purchase for me. Wallet, I'm gonna grab headphones to call my mom. Let's unsuffocate myself a bit here. I love this fanny pack, honestly one of the best purchases. So I'm off to shop, right? I threw this vintage belt on that my mom gave me. She told me to clean it off, but I kind of like how like distressed it is. So, all right, I need my phone. My phone will be helpful. Oh, also I tried this for the first time and I know I said that I would try it with you guys, but I did it in a shorts. I'll link the short video here. You can watch it on YouTube. I tried this for the first time. Honestly, love the blush, love the highlighter. The bronzer was a little patchy. I mean, but my makeup looks pretty good. It's not bad, but that highlight, it's just, oh my God, how nice. Again, stay naked, threesome. I got this on Amazon. Also, one of my subscribers told me that Urban Decay is going out of business which makes sense because I keep seeing Urban Decay makeup on sale. This was really nice, big fan. Let's go to shop right so that I can try and meal prep this week because eating like shit makes me feel like shit. I've been feeling like shit a lot lately. Today I kind of feel, no, I feel shitty. I don't know. Like I looked in the mirror this morning and was like, oh wow, you look way less bloated. So I felt a little bit better in that sense, but I feel very tired and lethargic, but also hyper and I didn't get enough done today. So a lot going on. Why are you on my watch? Hold on. Are you there? What the hell? Nothing. I'm struggling. I can't get you into my headphones. Oh, there you are. Hello. I just packed my headphones to call you when I was going to shop, right? They stole somebody's car while they're filling their tires with air. Who stole somebody's car? It's on the ring. Oh my God. Like a couple miles away. I don't know which gas station because there's a bunch of them. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. How do you do that? Did they run them over while they were filling oh. their air? Yeah, they just took off with the car. Oh my God, that's crazy. Alexa, what's the weather tomorrow? Tomorrow, there will be lots of sun with a high of 44 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 28 degrees. I'm not a morning person. We all know this. I don't need to reiterate it. However, I do a lot of things in the morning. Also, I'm doing a lot of things right now. Can you hear the laundry? Like I'm doing like the seventh load of laundry this weekend. In the morning, I wake up, I read, I journal, I drink coffee, I work out, and then I go to work. However, I need to take out as many steps as possible because taking any time outside of those things is too much time. So let's pick out my outfit for the week. So I think I'm gonna wear this tomorrow. I actually, like this is what I was wearing today. I showed you guys. My Nordstrom black top, my corduroy pants from Rent the Runway that I'm gonna buy. They're $65 on Rent the Runway, which is a steal. This belt that my mom gave me. And then just to make it like a bit more corporate, as much as I hate to say that, I'm gonna throw this blazer on that my mom bought me. I want to say it's from Nordstrom or Bloomingdale's, but I'm going to wear this and then I'm going to bring my 
black flats, which I don't know about you, but the moment that I have to take my Uggs off makes me very sad. I'm just gonna wear an all black and navy outfit. The shoes are from M. Jemmy. I love them. They're just like suede flats. And I feel like this is a vibe. It's cute. It's comfy. Let's pick out an outfit for Tuesday because it's gonna rain, but also I'm going to dinner with my girlfriends on Tuesday, which I'm so excited. I'm gonna see if they wanna do drinks at that wine bar that we love in New York City. It's so cute. It's like quiet. And I don't know about you. I don't like screaming at my girlfriends when going out with them. I like it to be quiet so I can hear what they're saying. Last time we went to... Where did we go? Somewhere near Hell's Kitchen and it was so loud and I felt like I was screaming and also I have terrible hearing and I hate asking people to repeat themselves too many times. So it's just, it's never fun. I think on Tuesday, I'm gonna wear these pinstripe pants or maybe these gray pants. I got both of the pairs of pants that I just showed you at Banana Republic Factory. Maybe I'll wear these, I don't know. One of these though, and then I think I'll pair it with a chunky knit. I also got this from Banana. I still have the tags on it. It was $90, but I did not pay $90 because everything factory is reduced and then reduced again. So. I'm thinking this, it's Sunday. I go to the office Monday, Tuesday. So I pick out Monday, Tuesday. I do it in pieces because then Wednesday I work from home. So then Wednesday night, I don't have to commute. So I could take the time to pick my outfit out for Thursday on Wednesday. I own two pairs. I own this pair and a tan pair. They are the most comfortable flats I have ever worn. They're so cute. They're made in Italy. I will link M. Jemmy down below. I'm not affiliated, I wish. M. Jemmy, I buy so many of your shoes. So if you wanna sponsor me, let a girl know. All right, back to my Uggs. So we apply the lipstick. Elf in Dirty Talk, so good, so good. This is like my new favorite nude. And it's kind of matte, which I don't really like matte lipsticks, but this one is very comfortable. It doesn't dry out your lips no matter how many days in a row you wear it. I think I'm just gonna go pack my work bag. This way that's done. And then I'll show you how I display everything the night before, honestly, the key to success is doing everything the night before, going to bed at a decent hour, picking out my workout clothes, picking out my work clothes, packing my work bag, having everything like that done so that in the morning I can just focus my time on doing the things on my to-do list that I actually enjoy doing. It's like when I don't wake up and give myself enough time to be with myself and do things that I enjoy in the morning, I just feel like my mood is terrible when I plan ahead and give myself the grace to enjoy my morning before throwing myself into work. That is when I feel my best and when I feel my best, I don't feel as terrible about life and I get more done and I'm happier to do it. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, Hi, my boo -boo. I'm gonna love you and leave you here. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for getting into this with me, getting back into just like a routine. I know the holidays can really throw a wrench in our routines and I do wanna remind you, I didn't do things perfectly this weekend, this past few days when I've been vlogging, you know, there are things in my routine that I wanna be better at. I slept in late today. I didn't, not everything went as planned, but I will say that in the grand scheme of things, I know I'm doing things to really help push myself to the next level, to really help make myself a better version of me. Even though it's hard to honestly journal in the morning, get all of my negative feelings out on paper and move forward. Because if I keep the negativity in my heart and in my mind and on my soul, then that hinders me from progress. And so long as I'm making baby steps every day, um, I think that that should be enough for me, for you, for everyone involved. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comment section what is something that you are doing to get your mindset right, to get you back into the swing of things. What does your morning routine look like? I would love to hear. Again, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I really, really hope to see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.